Hey, what's up, world? It's the Prince of Freestyle, Jay Mazor. Right now, you're on the chip. Back in with my big homie, my brother from another mother, DJ Racer, the Puerto Rican gangster. Music Lovers Radio, you already know how we do it. Team Mazor, we in full effect. Let's get into the next heat. My man, Jay Mazor. How you doing, man? <laughs> My brother, my brother, Racer, what's good, man? What's good, man? See, here's the thing. Usually, when, when I have an artist call in for an interview, I'm like, hey, what's up? How's... But with you, I feel like I'm just talking to my brother, man. It's, it, it, no it, facts. It doesn't, That's big facts, bro. It, it doesn't even feel like an interview, so we're just going to talk. <laughs> we're going to have a good time, brother. So first of all, before we even get started with anything, how's my girl Madison doing? She is doing phenomenal, man. Uh, she had an amazing Christmas. She was excited when she saw me, man. Like, the tears fell from my eyes. I'm like, you know, don't worry. Daddy coming back home, you know. Right now, we grinding up north, and then, but I'm going to come back home. But, man, she's doing amazing, though, man. Like, she can't be any better. I miss her so much right now. Ah, oh, man, that's great. And even though you say you would have her for me on the next interview, it's okay. I'm going to let that, no, that No, I promise. I put on everything. You are going to have an interview with her. I talked to her mom already because when I was getting a drop from her, I called her mom. I'm like, listen, Uncle Racer need a drop from um, from Madison. And she was like, oh, is it going to be all over the place? I'm like, listen, it's, I, you know, trust me, like, he, he's family. She was like, all right, cool. Go ahead and record it. Da, 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 and then she go ahead and do it. And I, <laughs> and I went and sent it back over to you. And she just did it. She did a good job. That was her first radio debut. Man, I got to tell you, I felt so special that day. I I, li I listened to it like 20 times. I was like, and then I told my <laughs> wife, I'm like, look, look, Madison, Madison. I was super excited, man. Again, yeah, thank you man. for that. That was awesome. Nah, she enjoyed it. She had fun. Even when I came um back home for Christmas, she was like, Daddy, I was on the radio. I'm like, yeah. And she, cause her mom had uh her mom had played it. Like I said, hey, listen, when he plays it, it's gonna be on live. And her mom was showing her, she all laughing and blushing and things like that. Oh man, that was that yeah, was man. that she was an amazing it. day. I love it and I can't wait for another one. But let's talk about you now, my brother. You What's up, bro? are absolutely just killing it out there, man. <laughs> Everywhere you turn. And it's funny because <laughs> no, I, I'm gonna say something. I think I think you may I think you may be hurting yourself. And I'm gonna tell you why, Jay. Every <laughs> weekend I go on Facebook and I see you perform and I don't need a ticket. I'm watching it for free. I'm like, I'm like, Yo, come on, man. You know what I call it? I be some of that I'll be calling it like it be promo runs. You know what I'm saying? And it's like I like coming from just come in, just peeping how I used to be around hip hop artists and everything. I'm like, well, it's a couple things we got to do for free, man, because we got to really set that tone and show them what we bring to the table. So it's like, okay, the first time is free. The second time I'm going to be building you, you know? So that's why I'm just so humble. And it's like, I know where I came from. It's like, man, I done did so many open mics and stuff like that. So I'm like, well, I know I'm building my value by the same time. What's another, you know, so far the shows I've been getting lately, it just been paid shows, <laughs> paid shows after paid shows after paid shows. But there's something that I, I use my discretion. I'm like, man, I really want to build with people. I really want to build a network and just, you know, talk to the right people. So I'm like, yo, I'll do that show for free. Let's get it. Because I know the people going to be in the right people going to be in the building, you know? And it, and, it, and it's been awesome, man. When you guys, you guys good, when you guys put on a performance, man, you, George Anthony, Jesse B, my boy oh, Ty, bless. And what's, and what's crazy is that, it. like, the show, the first show when it was me, uh, George Anthony, and Julio Mena, and it, it was like, it happened organically. That was not planned out at all that's just a genuine energy that everyone had where it was like yo jay come on the stage bro i'm like man for real he was like yeah yeah man do your thing and i just start chroming start doing my thing and then julio going in and he was trying to battle me and we just we just you know iron sharpens iron you know and that's how the team that's how we moving right now everyone doing their own thing but there's a there's a, a loyalty and a real trust and a, a brotherhood going on where you know everyone we just trying to bring quality and really uplift that culture of freestyle so we're gonna keep giving them bangers after bangers and give them quality content you know but see that the, but that's what i'm talking about it's pure pure spontaneous see and and if spontaneous you, was not planned at all and let me tell you jay if you if you recall back in the day that's the mm -hmm. way it was you showed up to a house party you grabbed the microphone and you just went for it you know you don't practice it Nah, facts, man. In fact, people would think it was all stage. I'm like, nah, this happened organically. You know, he, um, George Anthony brought, you know, Julio on the stage. He was like, Julio, do the second verse. He killing it. I'm in the back like, man, look at these boys. They doing their thing, you know, and I'm in the back. You know, I'm proud just watching them, you know, and then that's when Julio was like, nah, Jay, come on. Let's go ahead and finish it off and just do your thing. I was like, oh, okay. So people was like, oh, yo, they the Rat Pack. They the Rat Pack. Julio, Jay, and George, you know? But, you know, there's a lot there's a lot of dope love, a lot of dope energy, man. It's like, I'm, I'm grateful for it, man. Can you imagine if you guys were just dance, you know, doing your thing, 
not knowing anything, and Ty Bless came out from the background. He just started beatboxing while you guys were singing. <laughs> Woo! That would have been sick. Because people would have really thought that was stage. They would be like, no, nah, that happened too perfectly. <laughs> I'm like, like, hey, you just got to go off for the energy, you know? Uh, but it's definitely, it's definitely dope vibes when it's with those boys. It's always a good time. Absolutely. Now, I don't want to talk about uh, Born to Love just yet. I want to I wanna savor cool. that, and we're going to talk about that a little later. So let's talk about the yeah. record that everybody loves, Tell Me You Love Me, man. That record yeah. just blew up. I mean, did you expect it to blow up as bad as it? I mean, not as bad, but as good as it did. I did not whatsoever, whatsoever. And I feel like it's still growing as a song because I'm like, okay, that song, uh, I don't even think it's officially been a whole year that song's been released. So I am feel like that song still is trying to grow legs. So I'm like, I won't be surprised if by mid this year or even the end of this year, something bigger will happen with Tell Me You Love Me because that song can really go, it can go extremely far. <laughs> I'm talking about three and four year olds are singing the song. So I'm like, can you imagine? You know, it's, it's all positive. There's nothing crazy about the record. And it has a lot of good energy. My daughter sings it. She went to church and she told the pastor she has a, she saw a little girl singing and she was like, wow, OK, I could sing, too, because everyone's clapping for her. And she said, I got a song I want to sing. And the pastor was like, OK, what, you know, what gospel song are you going to sing? She just started, tell me you love me. Tell me you love me. <laughs> tell me you love me. <laughs> She sang that in front of the church. I told my my mom, the, her mom, like, you did not record this. She was like, no, I was just so into the moment. I said, are you kidding me? I said, I would have been crying if I was there to witness that, man. Man, I I, I got I got a confession to make to you, Jay. So my sister, <laughs> who's on right now, her name is Sally. She's in the chat room right now. She yeah. called me and says, do you have that song? Tell me you love me. And I'm like, yeah, I got that song. And she's like, yeah. can you send it to me? I'm like, no, go ahead and buy it, you cheap ass. But <laughs> but, but, but I, I must confess, I did send it to her. And she says yeah. she rocks it while she cleans the house, man. That's hey, amazing. That's that's dope. That's just so dope. Tell her to add it to her Spotify playlist, Apple playlist. Because right now, it just, right now, I don't know. I don't know what's going on, Ray. So I just, it's just God. It's just God and just, you know, working hard. It's like my listeners are growing like rapidly. Like right now, my Spotify is like close to ten thousand listeners a month right now, and that's just and we just starting off the year right now. But see, but the, but that's that's in part. Look, it, it, and I'm gonna be real with you. That's not just because of the music you're putting out. Because the music you're putting yeah. out, we all know, is dope. That's in mm -hmm. part to do with the personality and the person that you are. Of and, course, and, and, that and plays I, a big part in everything because you can't you can't be out here trying to run like like yeah we're artists. But we can't, you gotta be genuine because, like, because like, you're our supporters, our fans, like, that's how they relate to. They, they're not trying to see a whole polished person. Like, they wanna be able to know they can relate to you. Like, like when I go out in public, I try to take pictures with as much people as I can. I hug them. I ask all the queens who ever met James Moore in person, ask them about my hugs. I pretty much crack their backs almost because I'm, I'm so appreciative. Like, I, I bring them in. I say, tell your husband to relax. But I need to hug you. Like your 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 team was well, you're one of my queens, and I, I just want to show my appreciation. Like I thank you for all the support. Like yeah. even when I was in Philly for the first time in my life, so I shot the DJ Slice. I was in Philly for my first time in my life. That whole place was singing my song. No one knows, but after the show, I went to back my room. I was crying after my show. Oh man, because I'm humbled by that, man. Like. People just don't know it's like from back then where I came from, being a huge dude, 400 pound waddling through Miami, trying to sing from here to here to here and come to see where I'm at now. It's like, I just wish that I could be an inspiration to someone, you know? Man, and, and that's amazing. Shout out to DJ Slice Royalty Radio. Yeah. That boy's doing yeah. his thing. I love him, man. We, no, we, talk, sure. we talk all the time. He's great. I love him. So yeah, what I'm, man, he what talks I'm, highly of you as well. He uh, really talk, I tell him, you ain't got to tell me about Racer. I say, I, I knows this. I say, when it comes to Racer, I say, I knows this. You ain't got to tell me. You ain't got to sell Racer to me. He was like, oh, okay. I'm, just, I'm like, nah, that's that's fam right there, man. Yeah, I love that guy. Him and Ashley and the girls, I just. Yeah, they're, they're amazing. They're, they're amazing, they really man. Are. All right, so let, let's do this. Let, let's, let's play the song. I mean, even though we've heard it a, a million times, a million and one <laughs> We're times. We're going to hear it a million more. We're going to yep, keep it going. <laughs> absolutely. So, everybody, here we go. Tell me you love me. Let's get it.
number one source for freestyle music. It's the Freestyle Tell Radio. Me, tell me. Jay, so last Saturday I was I, I was home, and I was looking yeah. at my phone, and I saw you performing last Saturday, and I had my mm. phone in my hand and excuse my French, and I was like, what the fuck? And I look, <laughs> and you had Sheila and Gina rocking with you on the stage. How the yeah. hell did you, how did you get those <laughs> girls up there with you, man? Yeah, that was for uh, that was Willie Valentine birthday bash at Joey C's in Connecticut. Shirt, shout out to say a lot of promotion, do heart family, say a lot of promotions. Gina and Shirley, they are so dope. Say when I say they they they're promotion. dope on a whole different scale. Like, so I'm performing. Gina know my son. both of them know my song, but Gina be she be bobbing and you know she be getting into it. So when I be seeing Gina do that, I'm like, oh man, I gotta grab her on stage with me because the energy just there. So when I started performing, I'm like, we're going to give these people a good time. Since I'm really, like, opening everything up, we're going to give them a, a good time. So I brought Gina on stage, and I saw another lady who was just going crazy. I love this song. I'm like, come on, jump on stage. I grab another lady. Hey, come jump on stage. We're going to have a party tonight. Because everyone, anyone who come after me, they're going to come even twice as hard. So let's go hard, you know. And, man, it was just a good time. I, I, I try to make sure every show I give people a good time. I try to do my performances different and like it's to a point people see at um uh, I forgot I think the Black Irish Pub I jump off stage and jump in the middle of the crowd and I just having the whole place rocking with me, you know I try to give people a real good time so it can be an unforgettable event for them. Man, but it was funny because I see Shirley right and you yeah. and, and now you know Shirley right Shirley goes up yeah. there and she's always real serious right and I saw her <laughs> dancing and I'm like man this is crazy but here's the funny part though you took a picture with Gina right. And you uh -huh. and you had the phone and you were holding it up so it took an angle coming from the top to the bottom. Yeah. And I couldn't I couldn't see Gina. Gina looked like this little tiny thing next <laughs> to you. <laughs> she she said she say, Jay, your arms are long, so you take the picture. I said, Don't worry, I got you. I got you. Let's take it again. I, well, it, we had a real good time. Gina's so cool. Gina and Shirley. Shirley, I don't know what anyone else is saying, but she don't come off so the moment I met Shirley. Like it was, it was already smiles and hugs because that that's just how I am. And I, Shirley is just a, a a real good ball of happiness, man. I love her, man. And it's funny because she's in the chat room right now, and I think she's mad at me. I must have said Sheila by mistake. I'm sorry, Shirley. Uh, it's Shirley. Shirley, Shirley I got Shirley. it right for you, baby. Shirley, I got it right for you. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, all right, man. So tell us, man, what's what's your next gig gonna be, man? What's your next show? Well, my next show actually is going to be in Philadelphia. So everyone in Philadelphia, definitely pull up. I'm I'm going to be at the Springfield Country Club. So I'm going to be amongst the greats from George Lamont. Uh, let me look at the flyer again. Let me let me look at this flyer again. Because I, I, I sent it to one of my top moderators. She know who she is. Alba Perez is in the building. Shout out to Alba. Alba! We're gonna have, yeah, we got George Lamont, Raquel, Coro. You know, Peter Fontaine, Larger Than Life, you know, all they're going to be in the building. I mean, I met Coro in Buffalo, New York, with a show that I did with uh, with um, with um Manorick, and he stepped to me like, yo, he said, yo, you kid, you got something, bro. He said, you got a banger, you got a hit. He said, man, keep going. He said, man, I, we got to work. I was like, bro, I'm just honored. I said, I'm just honored. That's all I could say. And he was like, man, I really like your voice. I really like everything you do. Same thing for even George Lamont, because George Lamont keep hearing about me, because people come back and say, hey, George Lamont, asked about you. I said, really? They was like, yeah. And then he kept saying, who's the James Azor cat? And he said, oh, yeah, this is a new guy. Okay. And he went to another event. Yo, who's this James Azor cat? I keep hearing his name. Everywhere I go, I keep hearing about this James Azor guy. Who is he? 
And then George Anthony, like, yeah, you're going to hear about him soon. He said, that's my, that's my young bull. That's how Julio and them, they call me. That's the young bull. You're going to hear all about him. So now, you know, in Philadelphia, I'm going to be amongst them again and just try to rub elbows and just try to soak up enough knowledge I can, you know? That's amazing. By the way, I want to give yeah. a shout out to you from David Rojas, Vibe 24-7 in the building. He wanted to meet you. Vibe 24-7, DR1. What up, my brother? All right, so 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 yeah. you so you're doing big things, man, and you're doing great yeah. things, and you and you keeping the weight off. Now I know the la the last time you and I talked, we mm -hmm. talked about the indifferences, be you know between the 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 let's call them the old school freestyle versus uh -huh. the new school freestyle. Now mm -hmm. that you've been in this and you're just absolutely killing it and doing a lot of shows, have mm -hmm. you noticed a difference be you know between then and now? Are they accepting you more? I definitely know knows a major difference um, because it's like now I, my ear is just like tuned into it because right now I know before I used to listen to so much r and it's like as I've done more and more freestyle records, it's like now I'm in tune to it where now I get a feel of the, the freestyle scenery because before, even before I felt like they accepted me before, like they was like, yo, who is this cat? It was certain, I had some negative comments where people was like, I, I remember the comment, I don't remember who said it, but he was like, oh, 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 this is what freestyle is about now, they're letting black people in. And I, I questioned it, yeah, I, I saw that, and I was like, man, since when freestyle was a color, I said, man, this is music. I said, this is what makes people feel good, this is what makes people, you know, get through their day. I said, it's because, like, I'm, I'm like, you know what? They made me want to record more. I'm like, oh, you know, I'm, I'm going to give this man, because now he's going to see too much of my face. Whoever this is, he'll see more of my face. But I was like, you know what? I think that was like the most negative thing I ever got. But overall, everyone else, like, they accept me. Like, I know a lot of people was probably threatened, but I was like, there's nothing to be threatened about. I'm not here to take no position. I just want to be able to see how I could, like, help put the push the culture forward as well and just try to brand myself, you know? So, but they accepted me then. But even now, they see how the consistency is. It just really just been a full on embrace, like a full circle from GA to freaking um Julio Mena, Willie Valentine, uh, Southside of Jay Adams. It's like even like all the DJs, like from all those crews, like everyone rock with me so much. Like I wish every city I hit, I could meet up with every single DJ in the city just to have a whole lunch dinner and just talk. From Detroit to LA to New York to Miami to whatever, I just want to be able all the D, all the freestyle DJs in this particular area meet me here, dinner on me. Like I, that's what I really want to do. I'm gonna try to make sure I execute that this year because without the DJs and without the support of the fans, what are we? You know. You know who's the same exact way is uh, Jesse B. Man, he came yeah. out to Cali. He's a we solid hung dude, out, man. man. That's solid a, dude, bro. That's my bro right there. I love that yeah. guy, man. Super solid. So I saw the Jesse B. Man, man, that man's solid. When I came to Chicago first time, man, he he held me down. He made sure everyone held me down. So I saw the D Marie. Man, she's she's an amazing soul as well, man. Like I appreciate it. Jesse B is definitely a solid individual and artist, man. I, I like watching him perform. When he when he performed last when we was in Massachusetts, we just had a show in Massachusetts. Jesse B tore the house down in that place. And you know what? He, he tore the house down. And he loves to dance. That's what I like about him. He yeah. loves to dance. <laughs> I'll be watching. I'll be trying to study his combination. Like, okay, how is you doing that? I'm like, okay, you know, but he doing his thing, man. Jesse be doing his his new record, Time Gone. That's that. I listen to that. That's my shit right there. Man, you know, and you know who else can dance? I I was watching him on uh, uh on a live, and he was dancing. Mm. Is Joey Action? Joey Action got moves, man. Yeah, he got little moves. Yeah, I, I met him in Brooklyn. He got a little. He got some moves. I, eventually, I I, I want to do some kind of two step. People see I do my Miami. The people see the little dances I do on stage. That's it's called jicking. That's a Miami dance <laughs> when we jerk and do all that stuff like that. So I I'm like, this is my culture, and you know, in the neighborhood where we do jerk music. So you do the popping of the shoulders and you go ahead bend down a little bit point at the person so i'm like you know i try to incorporate that in the freestyle but i definitely want to eventually have some two-step and nothing too crazy no chris brown but i definitely want to eventually do something really give him a, a good show you know because yeah. I, I always come down hard on myself like man i could have did this better or this could have been better or i could have said this way more clear like i'm my worst critic you should come up with a dance and call it the Haitian Shuffle, baby. Boom. Just, just, yeah. And just trademark it. The and we, Haitian and, Shuffle. And, 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 and what I can do is... Haitian, that's actually like a shuffle that we actually do. I'm going to try to see how can I incorporate that on my show. You see? To see if everyone's going to do it. You put, your, you put your hand right by your pelvis and you just shuffle from left to right. 
For real, I'm dead serious. Oh man, you gotta you gotta do now. Now everybody listening, we gotta yeah. have Jay do it and videotape it and post it on Facebook. Oh yeah, I'm gonna I do wanna it. learn I'm, it. We're gonna be a Haitian shuffle challenge. I'm gonna I'm gonna be the first one. You put one hand in the air. Make sure the video is yo your camera's propped somewhere. Put one hand in the air. The other hand on your pelvis, like by your what they call it, a fupa, or whatever by your waistline or whatever. Yeah, 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 yeah. Right there, and then you just start shuffling from left to right, swaying. That's how that's how we do. When we get in the vibe, the Haitians they sway just like that when they fill in the song real deep like that. Oh uh, man, that's great. Yeah. Wait, when, when you yeah. put it out there, I'ma do it. I'm a I'm a challenge, surely to do hey, it. Hey, <laughs> hey, you better be the second one challenge. You after I put the challenge up, I want to see you follow up. I want to see if you do you it. You got it. You got it, man. You got my word on it, man. I'll do that. So everyone's listening. Hold on. How many people is on here right now? You got oh, 58, 60 people in here? Yep. They listening now. So we already see um, he got to follow up with the Haitian Shuffle Challenge, guys. Oh, man. Thank God Gail's not on the chat room. And now Gail will be clowning me right now. <laughs> oh, Gail. How could I for... Gail would kill me if I even forget saying her name. Nah, People Gail. don't know what, but she does a lot in the background for me. She is the truth. Oh, yeah. And Gail is the truth, man. Every People just don't know. They sleep on her. <laughs> oh, no. And every time she calls me and I pick up the phone, yeah. now, everybody, I am not being racist when I say this. I am not being disrespectful when I say mm -hmm. this. As soon as I pick up the phone, she goes, yo, Negro, where you been? <laughs> and I'm like, my God, you've been calling me like eight times, man. I'll get back to you. Oh man, girl, that's what she'll call me. She's like, yo, what's up, nigga? Yeah. I'm like, oh shit, what's up, girl? And she was like, nah, what you doing, man? I ain't here for you for a couple days. And I don't think what's going on. I'm like, no, nah, I'm good. I said, I've been hustling. I'm moving. I'm I gotta go to the next city. I got look at Jay Adams is looking at me through a mirror right now, guys. He's <laughs> acting like he's being silly right now. <laughs> but uh she be like, what you doing do? She said, I see you, Jay. You know what you gotta do? You gotta do this. And Jay, you got I'm like, okay, I got you. And cause she's like pretty much like my mentor almost. Like she when she see that. I see something going on, and I know I'm about to get upset. Either I call Alba, or I call Daisy, or some, or I, I hit up Gail. I'm like, Gail, man, something on my mind. She's like, what happened, Jay? Talk to me. What's going on now? I say, man, this happened, and I want to say this. She's like, nope, Jay, this is what you need to say. Do this, and don't sweat it. Jay, you have a tunnel vision. Stay on that. I'm like, you know what? You're right. You're right. You're right. But as a human, when you see certain stuff, you're like, oh. You get what I'm saying? So, so, but so, I'm like, man, she, she keep me level, though. She definitely keep me level. And she's brutally honest, and I love it. She's not a yes woman. So so it's funny. Her and I are working on something. I, I can't say what it is, right? But mm -hmm, we're uh -huh. we, we working on something, right? And and, and I, I'm, I'm not going to lie. I've been slacking. I've been busy. I've been doing my thing. So, and she getting on your ass. Right? Oh, she gets on my ass, right? But <laughs> someone did something very similar to what we want to do. She mm -hmm. calls me. As soon as I pick, I pick up the phone, she said, you see? You see? Keep slacking. Keep slacking. Click. She just hung up. Yeah, she's going to keep you on your toes. She's going to keep you on your toes. Trust me. Well, but it's all for the better. Like, she, she, she's pumpy because she already know. Like, listen, just, I know you're capable of this. Do this. Jay, I know you're capable of this. Do this. Interact by doing this, and then you can do this and do this. Like, she's, she has, she be brainstorming 24-7. And you know what? It's funny because a lot of people don't see her in the chat room right now. I would not be surprised if she's listening in right now. About, about... She, yeah, she right, right now, Gail probably listening right now. She's probably laughing right now as we speaking. Oh, yeah. And, and for those who think that Gail disappeared, Gail has not disappeared. No, she hasn't. Gail is taking some needed time off, but she's watching and looking at everything. Trust oh, me yeah. when I say that. Oh, yeah. Definitely. All right, Jay, let's go to your next song because I know everybody wants to hear Born to Love You. Let's talk about Hold On, man. Talk about that song oh, a little bit. Oh, yeah. The Hold On record, I, is now, is now I, I feel like people starting to get a grasp of it. So I'm like, okay, that's good. So I even talked to Tanasi. I was like, we need to put an artwork behind Hold On. And he's like, oh, we could just put the album cover. I'm like, no, put a separate artwork. I say, that's starting to pick up. It's starting to grow legs. And he was like, oh, okay, you know, let's do it. So I'm putting the artwork together for Hold On, as well as um Have Some Fun. That's another one I feel like is about to grow legs. A few DJs been playing it now as well. But the Hold On is like, Tanasi has sent me the record. He sent me the record, and he was like, gee, man, this I did. This is the reference track I got. And I'm like, man, okay. And every time Tanasi sent me some, I always tweak the words to me. I say, man, listen, this is what I would say. This is how we will word it better. And he like, Jay, do whatever you're going to do. So, you know, once we started writing this, song, hold on to this love, don't you set it free. It's like you're trying to fight for something that you know is worth fighting for. You get what I'm saying? So it's like, yo, I'm going to fight for this love no matter what, no if, ands, or buts about it. Like, I'm trying to do whatever I can to hold on to this. You get what I'm saying? So I'm trying, in, in the music, you're basically explaining to them, like, 
Like these are stuff that we got to offer. These are the pros and cons that we've been through. Just hold on to it. Don't just let it go that easily. You know, so that's why I know a lot of people relate to that song in particular because who, who's not trying to hold on to someone they love or something that they have? Absolutely. So now, make sure that. Now, before we get to the song, I want to try to get you in trouble because, you know, that's what I do. So, you know, Tanasi's <laughs> not going to tell me, so I'm going to ask you, do we know when Freestyle Volume 3 is coming out? Actually, Tanasi spoke on that because after he did Volume 2, I said, you know, it's, it has to be a 3. It's only right. He said, oh, yeah, Jade, most definitely he's going to be a 3. But right now, he was uh, after he dropped the New Jack Swing um, project that he did, and so he he put it out for the U.S., but that's something that he mainly is marketing um, over overseas in Japan. So that new Jack Swing apparently is really big in Japan, so he's testing the waters out there as well. And then he got all the other projects that he got with all the other great artists he's working with as well. But uh, Volume 3 is definitely in the works. He got he have a few other people, they, some unexpected people that's going to be on that Volume 3. Are you on it? Oh, of course I'm on. I'm on the first. <laughs> when he came out the gate with the first one, he was like, okay. He said, it was only right for the second one. I said, okay, now we're going for the third. My face got to be in front of that vinyl, brother, man. Let's get it. I swear to God, talking to that guy is like talking to the damn FBI, man. <laughs> Who, Tadasi? Yeah, man. He don't want to leak nothing. <laughs> he don't want to leak nothing. He means well, man. But his voice, you know, he's very smooth. He's a smooth talker. I know the ladies. The ladies love them some Tanasi. Oh, they love them, especially Franny Fran. She oh. loves Tanasi. She said Tanasi's gonna be her husband. Oh, uh, that's what Gail. Remember, Gail changed her name on her Facebook. Uh, a few oh months yeah, yeah, ago. I remember. Yeah, yeah. Gail, Gail Kulitis. I yeah. remember that. <laughs> Tanasi turned red when he saw that. Oh, he ain't know. He ain't know how. To, I'm like, are you blushing, man? He like, I don't know, Jay. I don't know what to expect. Oh man. All right, man. So <laughs> yeah, man. everybody, let's listen to Hold On, and don't worry, that new song's coming up soon. Let's get it. Yeah. Jing Zor. Tenacity on the beat. Let's go. Don't make sense the way that we 
Everybody listening to that song and, and you guys are writing in the chat room about how dope it is. You guys don't have any, if you haven't heard Born to Love You, you don't even know what's coming. Wait till you hear oh, that man. song. My God. I can't wait for that song to drop. That record there, I can't and it's gonna be the record that I'm releasing like on my on my own solo. No, it's not under Romeo. It's definitely produced by Romeo, um from um um T G and Kenny Moulton and um and, and Tanasi, definitely produced by Romeo, but I'm releasing it under myself, 89 Till King Cine, Jay Mazur, independent team. So this is gonna be the first freestyle record out the gate and we're expecting like a phenomenal response from that. So we be you know, I'm gonna let these people wait as as long as possible, man, because we the anticipation must be killing them and I love it. <laughs> Can we expect another single in twenty twenty? Yes, y'all can expect actually two more singles and Woo! probably actually three more singles in 2020. Cause I got born to love. The follow up is a is a secret weapon that I have with uh with Jay Adams. Oh man, a secret weapon I have with Jay Adams. Like you know what's my goal? I'm I'm said this is gonna be my first time saying on anyone's show. Like I'm trying to hit billboards in 2020. If I can hit billboard, and I can accomplish that at least as one of my goals. Hit the billboards on one of these records. Like I'll be like okay. You know, I'm, I'm going to work even harder, but that's one of my goals. That I know for 2020, I need to hit the Billboard chart some way, somehow. And from Born to Love or or the record I got with Jay Adams, then I have another record with a producer in Toronto, DJ Spanky. There's a song called um, Dance With You All Through the Night. I promise you. One of these records by the hit, like every time I hear it, I get goosebumps on every single record. And I don't usually get that. Man, if you, you if know, you, so I'm excited. If you hit the charts, I'll be on Facebook going, I know him. That's my <laughs> man Jay. I know oh, him. If I hit Billboard charts, I'm gonna have I'm gonna take a picture with my plaque crying <laughs> on top of the plaque. Like, okay, now now the hard work begins. I'm on Billboard. Now we do the hard work. Now it's time to really go in. You know, and then I just I just left the studio before I got here. Cause while I was I was trying to knock out everything before the interview, I just left the studio. So I saw to Philip Jagger in Switzerland. Like, he's just got signed to a major, major label, and I don't know how he found me. I really don't know, but he reached out to me to do a record with him, and I just knocked it out tonight with Jay Adams, and he, he went crazy for it. He said, Jay, once I do my final mixing on it, he said, I say, fly me out to Switzerland, man. That's all I need, fly me out to Switzerland and tell them to get right, let's get it. So it's a house, like, dance music. You know, being a singer is, like, it's easy to be well-rounded. You, you, I can do any genre. You get me? But right now, my heart my heart, and my heart only is on freestyle, but I don't limit myself. I'm doing EDM. I'm doing pop. I'm doing house music. And right now, we're going to see how everything goes. Like, I don't limit myself. Even Afrobeat. I got an Afrobeat record sitting in my hard drive that no one heard yet. 
All right, so you so, know what I'm saying? So, so, so it's we, a lot. So we know you you got born to love you and that and that popped now, right? Uh huh. Be honest. That's... Be honest though. How long uh-huh. have you had? How long have you been sitting on this song, going, "I'm gonna make him wait. I'm gonna make him wait. I'm gonna make him wait," and then, boom, since hit him la- with it. Since last, since last year, August. I knew it. I knew it. I that knew it. I had debuted it on my live, and I was like, "Listen, people, this is coming." And I was like hyper when I came out of the studio. I was like, "This is coming. This is coming." People was like, "Oh my god, what is that?" I said, "Born to love and all through the night. Born to love and all the remember is coming." It was like, "Okay," and that that if they really skimmed through my feed. Wait, I don't. It was last year. I don't. I doubt anyone to go that deep, but they'll see when I played that like months, months ago, and I was waiting for the right time. I'm like, the top of the year, we're gonna drop it. Like we got everything in place. Everything is lined up correctly. Where when this pushes out, oh man, again, hey, Jay. I'm, if I if I hit Billboard, it'll be a blessing. But regardless, we're gonna keep going, keep going, and keep pumping our dope music. When when you did that live. I was there. Uh-huh. You were sitting inside your car. My car. Yep. With, with you were in your car. I, I was right there. <laughs> oh, you don't you don't think I remember? Oh, I was there going, <laughs> when is he gonna come out with this shit? Yeah, I've been sitting up for a minute. I had the black tank top on with the hat and I was hyper. I was fresh out the studio. I was like, oh man, I'm gonna kill him. I'm gonna kill him with this one. I'm gonna kill him with this one. That's why when it was coming out, I let a few of the heavyweights heard his C V B when I released guy, when I did the email when I sent the email out on the twenty fourth. And I sent it to Stevie B as well. That man texted me. He like, Jesus Christ, man. He was like, damn, bro. He said, man, you got to smash, Jay. I said, nah, wait until the seven. I said, once we let it out to the masses and we start getting it, get it on the playlist, get the DJ running it up and get it going, man. I said, that's the only way we'll be able to push everything going. But Stevie B called me like he was just like, yo, I salute you. Like, I salute you, man. This, this record's hot. Should we play it for them? What's that? Should we play it for them now? Uh, should I do a cappella for them before I play it for them? Just because I know they love when I when I give them a little raw raw vocals before we get on to that. Uh, that's fine. But before you do that, though, the girls always always want to know: Are What's you still up? single, my brother? Right now, you know, I'm, I'm 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 vibing with someone. I'm vibing with someone. But you know, we just seeing how things play out. But you know, I'm just still trying to keep everything on a straight arrow don't don't try to get like knocked off but then again you know i have someone that's definitely in my view so we're just seeing how things play out for sure nice nice all right brother ready hit us with that acapella you know i love it let's go <laughs> it's you know how we do it ladies the queen um the, the prince of freestyle shout out to all the queens in the building all the kings so the next record is we're about to play next is born to love it's going to be released february 7th again it's going to be february 7th born to love so it's a little something like this. I was born to love you. Oh, I was destined to be with you. That's why I'm still here. Oh, that's why I'm still here. I was born to love you. Oh, I was destined to be with you. That's why I'm still here. And I ain't going nowhere. I was born to love you. Yeah, yeah. Oh my God. All right. Let's now get it. let's, let's get, it. get it, everybody. Here you go. Born to love born you. Born to love. The anticipated. By let's get it. The anticipated debut. Here we go. Let's go. Hey, what's up, world? It's your man, Jay Mazor, the Prince of Freestyle. And right now, you're tuned in to my brother, the Puerto Rican gangster, DJ Racer. Right now, we listen to the exclusive new record, new single, Born to Love. Yeah. Jay Mazor. Tenacity on the Let's go.
Before you even say anything, bro, honestly, What's up? thank you for letting me play this, man. This this is nah, man. this is the shit right here, honestly, man. You, you, hey, you had the exclusive racer. This is the first show. I dropped it on as the first show to premiere it, and you already know what it is, man. We, we, we family. We got to do everything the right way, and we give these people what they need. Man, I got, the, I got a big Kool-Aid smile on me right now. I'm so happy, <laughs> man. Yo, at the end of the song, that's gonna have the whole crowd rocking. The whole crowd gonna be clapping. That's, I did that on purpose. That uh, man, it's all jokes aside, man. I, 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 I'm literally just stuttering right now because this. Everybody, give me your give Jay your feedback on this song, man. Tell him what yeah, you really think. Yeah, let me know think, what you guys man. think. You know, like once. Listen, on the day of the release, February seventh, because I'm in Facebook jail, and Daisy, she knows what I'm talking about. The food <laughs> sucks in Facebook jail, but. February 7th, if everyone is listening, I need everyone to get the artwork, the Bone of Love. Make that your profile picture for 24 to 48 hours so we can go hard, so we can keep that campaign going. 24 to 48, that's it. And after that, you can put the pictures back to the family and everything just for the first two days. I need everyone to make that their profile picture to show them like the love and show them the support on how we can move in freestyle, you know? That's and right, Team baby. Azor and somehow we rocking. I got I, and I got the artwork up right now on the show. Everybody's looking at it. Put that artwork up on your profile page, February seventh. Two days. February two 7th. days, baby. Let's two days. Let's make that born to love campaign. And don't forget, I'm gonna do that. I'm gonna record that video. I'm 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 I'm, I'm, I'm hoping you follow up with the Haitian Shuffle challenge. Oh, like like I said, I do it. And, 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 and for my sister Angela, who's who's on the chat room right now, don't be calling me for me to send you this song. You gotta buy this one. You gotta buy this one. February seventh, <laughs> Angela. You, you just buy this one. I, what I think is like a dollar ninety nine ninety nine cent on iTunes. Oh yeah, that's nothing. We 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 see that. We, we could throw that away. That's nothing. Ninety nine cents is nothing. That's dope. So man, I'm gonna buy a copy, right? But I, 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 I want I want the CD and I I I want it autographed, man. That's going in my collection, man. Man, oh, most definitely, most definitely, man. And I'm listen. I done been in LA a few times. I've been doing shows in LA, but when I come to LA, to California, we have to link, my brother. Oh, for sure, for sure, no doubt. There is no doubt. There is no doubt that it's gonna happen. Oh man, we have to link, man. All right, so let me give my shout-outs, man. I want to give a shout-out to, of course, we got seven stations streaming this show right now. We got people dope, in the, in dope, the dope. chat room right now. I appreciate now. everybody's support. So we got the Freestyle Radio. We got Music Lovers Radio, of course. We got SGR Records. We got my man, DR1, Vibe 24-7. DR1. 
We've got, you know, Jay Garcia, yeah. Duhart, baby. That that's that's my man Duhart right there. Family. That's the fam right Hell there. Hell yeah. Man. We got Felix Classic Full Seven. We've got Cliff Potts, uh, Papa Cliff Potts Beats, in the building. and my man uh, G, uh, Danny G Styles, you know, from UBM. We got DJ Lex, Stream Mix Radio. We got Angelo and Noel, Court Canadian Freestyle Music and more. We got my boy Big Willie Star from Freestyle Free For All. Of course, we got Shirley and Gina from Say A Lot of Promotions. Say A Lot of Promotions, you already know. Or is it Sheila? Well, it's, it's one of the two. Shirley, then we got, Shirley, Shirley, <laughs> we, Shirley. We've got Gail from Bella Fedora Entertainment. Yeah. And then we got Allison from Kohler Promotions, baby. So if the microphone's all yours. Jay, give your shout outs, man. Definitely. I definitely want to give a major, major, major shout out to the, to the man, the most high. God for even blessing me with the talent to keep me going and keep me healthy, to keep everything going. I appreciate like everyone. I appreciate you, DJ Racer, your family, and just your parents for even giving birth to you, my brother. And also, shout out to the whole team Azor family, my family back home in Miami. I'm definitely coming back home in a few weeks from New England, but my family back home, the whole team Azor family, 89 till the whole King Cine label. I appreciate everybody supporting me. Everyone across the country from Japan and it's overwhelming and I'm grateful. I just want to thank everyone in my team like who believes in me and who's going to keep believing in me. So I saw the do hard, say a lot of promotion. So I saw to DJ Tony as well in Connecticut. So Cause since I've been out here, he made sure he moved with me, making sure I meet the right people and nothing happens to me out here. So I saw to DJ Tony, but for sure, man, and most definitely shout out to my mother. May she rest in peace. I hope she's watching down and my little baby, my daughter, my princess, and the reason I'm doing everything, Madison Rose, just know that daddy loves you. And if you're hearing this, daddy loves you so much. I'm coming home real soon, baby. Coming home. Madison, DJ Ray, D uh, Uncle DJ Racer loves you too, man. That's my that's my girl, man. <laughs> yeah, that's family. DJ Racer. I love it, man. So, hey, yeah, man. Jay, man, thanks a lot again for coming on the show, man. And and you know what? We're going to do this again because you and I could talk and we can talk and we oh, ain't man. never going to we'll run out of things night, to talk brother. about, man. We'll probably go all night. Just positive vibe, good energy between us. You already know. It's more than just music, man. We definitely have to link up when I came to Cali. It's for sure, man. It's a promise. I, 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 you got me, man. Once again, yeah, thank sure, you bro. for coming on the show, Jay. Have a great weekend, man. We I can't believe January's over. We got February coming up. And, yeah. and, and I, you know what? I'll be looking at my free concerts on Facebook. <laughs> <laughs> well, now we're going well, gonna to be lighting up on um, Philadelphia. And then on May 23rd, I will be at the Hard Rock with uh, with the big bro Julio Mena and George Anthony as well. We're going to be in Daytona Beach. I'm going to be rocking out out there as well. So y'all stay tuned for that. We got a lot of things in the world. 2020 is going to be a very interesting year. And remember, February 7th, take that artwork February that's 7th. up there now, put Everybody it on make your it profile. Their artwork, make it, make it their profile picture for the 24 to 48 hours, and we're going to go ahead and blast this record coming out the gate. I can tell you one thing for sure. Shirley and Gina, they're going to make sure that thing is blasted, man. They, they got your back, man, oh, for yeah. sure. Oh, yeah, without a doubt. Those are real queens. That's without a doubt. All the queens in the building, every, all the queens in Team Azor, they got me. They, they all behind me. No, not even behind me. They on the side of me. I want to not behind me. I want to walk right in the side of me. We're going to do this together. Except for Gina. Gina's got to stay in the front because if she goes to the side of you or the back of you, you may lose her. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, and we, <laughs> and we got GA in the building too. We got the big homie GA and Jay Adams here. So I'm at a radio station while we're doing the interview too. Oh, that's amazing, it's just, man. You see a multitasking. We got, you, you get what I'm saying? That's how we got to show our artists. We got to keep that grind going, man. Just don't stop. Hell yeah, we got to keep it going. Like I said, Jay... Do your thing, brother. We'll do this again. Good sure, luck. Brother. Good luck on the single. Like I said, I, I'm going to buy it. I'm going to hit you up for an you. autograph. Appreciate and as soon as it comes out, we're going we're gonna to blast it every show we do on the stations. Love you, brother. See you next man, time. I love you, brother. I appreciate you, man. Talk to you soon. Team Azor, we in full effect. Love you guys. You already know Freestyle Radio, MLR. You know how we do it, man. We here. Peace out, Jay. All right, bro. All right. Bye. There you go, guys. That was an amazing interview, man. Jay 